And now to our new segment. Building a house is one thing, but making a smart and breathtaking interior is a different ball game altogether. Tonight on our inaugural weekly segment, the adventurer Kitchens Charles Gitonga speaks to Ismail Wakone, an entrepreneur who has found a niche in interior design, minting up to 15 million shillings in annual turnover. Take a look. The interior design industry is growing at a rapid rate in the country thanks to a blossoming real estate sector which is presenting an opportunity for entrepreneurs to grow. One of such is the founder and CEO of Wacon Interiors, Ismail Wakone. Thank you. Design is thinking made visual, you know, because to design something, you have to think of something, you see? that you can see like a wall, you look at it, and then you see this wall, I can break it into two, or I can leave it a plane. We started in 2010, we was a group, and then we just, by then we were just doing tile work and pasting. We had not specialized on gypsum boards, no. But to date now, we have special group special trained guys, you know, with a pack training from plastic molding. With that training, at least we had to come up with something big. So right now, if you get a client, you can design the whole house and do everything in the house, including even curtains. You can choose for them the curtains, the furnitures, the color that they're supposed to be here. You recommend beautiful colors for them. For starters, we had nothing before, because we just came as a group, we joined. We used almost 300,000 to do the marketing for our business. Most people are investing in real estate, you know? So, you can't say that you can't get work. Work is there. We've done restaurants, we've done hotels, we've done martial needs, yeah, so we, even offices, we do even offices. If you do one job, then it will refer you to the next one. For you to, to do what you do uh, best, you know, first of all, you have to have a team. You need to have tools, you know, for everything. You, you, don't, you, know, you can't say that a client wants this and you say that you don't have anything to produce this. Yeah? You always have to have you must have tools, you must have a good workmanship. We've employed a lot of guys, you know, they're graphic designers, the ones who are supposed to do the designs, and then come up with variety choices for a client. Nothing good comes in a cheap way, you know? So if you want something good, then it's, you'll have to spend, you know, because you, know, you can spend from almost a million to almost five million, depending on the designs that you want done. So the challenges are, maybe a client wants a certain, certain material, and then when you go there to the market, you look for that material, it's not around. So it has to be imported. So the period that it's going to take for it to be imported, yeah, already the client has given hope on you. The biggest success in this industry, you can say, first of all, you get knowledge. And knowledge is power. You know, with knowledge, you got power. And with power, there's nothing that you cannot do.